All right, Off Grid Stores here back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about connecting two solar panels in parallel. You can connect more in parallel, but right now we're just gonna do two and it's pretty intuitive from there. So if you like what you see, please be sure to hit the like button. It really helps out grow this channel, helps with the algorithm, helps people that wanna learn solar, learn more about solar and getting good videos in front of them. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of every single time we drop a video like this. So right off the bat, I do wanna say that every item that we have here, the RS100, I believe they're called, in this video, solar panels are gonna be linked down below in the description. And if you haven't bought from our store before, we do have a 10% off code for first time customers. And that code is 10% now, I believe. It'll be down in the description as well and the pinned comment. So let's get into it. So firstly, this is gonna be a quick video. Really, I don't think that you should be connecting panels strictly through parallel. It doesn't really make much sense. There's more equipment needed and it's just not the best way to connect them. Series, you should be connecting all your panels in series, in my opinion, unless you have to you know, connect them in parallel as well. And at that point, you should be doing series parallel combination like four in series, four in series, and then those two strings in parallel or something like that. But let's just go over parallel real quick. So in the series video we talked about, if you look at the solar panel, and I always suggest using the same solar panels as much as you can, you're gonna see that there is a VMP, a VOC, so this is gonna be the highest voltage that will come out, the open circuit voltage. And then as you can see right here, there's gonna be a short circuit and current, the ISC. So in series connections, we add together the voltages. So say that your solar generator or your charge controller can only take 100 volts or whatever, and you added together five of these panels, five times 22.8 is gonna be over 100, so you can't do that. So you wanna do something with parallel involved. When you do parallel, voltages will stay the same, but short circuit currents will add together. So right here we have 5.78 amps. So when you connect these two panels together, they're both the same, it's gonna be 5.78. It's gonna be about 11.4 amps altogether is what these two panels are gonna be pushing out when they're connected in parallel. So with all of these videos that we've done, you can see right here there's a negative and there's a positive. And over here there's a negative and a positive. You can also see on the leads, there's a plus. Red is positive, black is negative. So what do we do in parallel? So basically in series, we show that you connect the positive of one to the negative of the other, pretty much making it a daisy chain down the line of however many panels you have. In parallel, it's the opposite. You're gonna connect the two positives together and the two negatives together. And you may be asking, how do we connect two positives together? Remember in this row, we have two males. They don't connect into each other. It doesn't work like that. But that's why I said it's kind of a pain because you're gonna need some extra connectors. And these will be down in the description as well. So pretty much this is gonna be two panels in parallel to one outlet right here. They make them the three and with four. And I do like these ones because they're compact, they're rigid, and there's less things to break on them. They do have ones and we do have them on the website that in case you need extra flexibility, they do have strings or wires coming off them to the connectors. I don't think that's the best way to go about it. I think these are the best. And like I said, we'll have them down in the description. So pretty much all you need to do is, again, things plug into each other with MC4 connectors, making everything easy. If you look at your two positive connections, you see that they have male connectors on them. You're gonna need a female counterpart in order to plug it in. Here's the other one. As you can see, it's two males to one female. So. If you were like, oh, we're gonna connect the two positives together and you try to connect this one in here, you go, oh wait, there's no other place to put it. So then you just know that you need this one. So pretty much all you need to do is connect it in. And we're trying to do it with one hand, as always. And then you see it's in, but obviously not all the way. And you wanna hear that click. Push on it extra hard, get another click, possibly. So we're gonna connect this one. As we see, it's half in. You hear that click, it's fully in. So now you're kind of wondering probably, all right, what do I do with this part? We'll go over that in a second once we get the two negatives connected together. So here we go, negative two females. We need two positives, or two males, I mean, sorry. And we get this one. 
just like so. Let's connect it in, make sure everything's clicked in. You can see these little clips, they wanna be inside. And then this one, I'll hold the camera in my hand. We got this connected in. So now these two panels are in parallel. And again, this can work the same way as if you had extra panels. Another one, say that you had two in series, two in series, you bring those strings together and you do it in parallel as well. So I'm actually gonna pause the video and I'll show you that. All right, so we're back. So as you can see, these two panels are connected in series. So these two voltages will be added together. That's 22.8. So let's just say close to you know 45, I believe. A little bit over 45 voltage here, 45 voltage here. And then since these two strings are gonna be connected in parallel, then that's gonna add together the two currents as well. So it's gonna be about 45.6 or whatever volts, this whole array, and about 11.4 amps altogether. So that's why when you get a solar charge controller, or a solar generator, basically it'll give you a range of where the voltages can be and a range of where the actual amps can be. And that's why you wanna make sure that you can play around with these panels. Usually you're not just gonna have a strictly parallel see, just connection, it doesn't really make much sense. And I will get a little bit into fusing at the end of this video. And basically you're gonna usually have a all series or a series and parallel connection. So as you can see, the only real difference here is that the strings are a little bit farther apart now. That's why a lot of people will put the tops of these and the tops of these together laying next to each other. It's much easier to connect that way. But pretty much, if we come over here, we see the positive. And we see another positive. So they're a little bit farther away. If we didn't have short, long connections here, long leads, these are about three feet long on this panel, then it'd be pretty much impossible. So I'm gonna plug this together uh, into the connector, which I'll put the phone down for. So we connected these together, here we are. And then again, we got the negatives and the other negative. So let me put the phone down. And here we are, we have the two negatives connected. If you're also maybe wondering how do we get any extenders off of this? If you have a solar generator like an EcoFlow Delta of some sort, then you can just connect the extra solar panel connectors into it that go straight into the Delta but say that they're 20, 30, 50 feet away, then you're gonna need to get some form of extension cable. And we do have these on our website as well. I'll link those down below. So as you can see, we got pretty much you want the positives to be connected with the positives. So we have the positive right here. And then the red cable is gonna be positive. So what do we do? We see that that's a male. Here's the female. So we connect those. And now I believe these are these might be 50 feet long. So this is 50 feet of extra cable, and this is what would go into your solar generator at that point, and then, or whatever else you're doing. And then at this point, we just take the negatives. It was a female on the end. We took the male side of the negative and connected it together. So now we have a bunch of room here to connect everything. And just for giggles, I'll put the phone down and just show what it would look like connected to, if you had a solar generator connected to it. So this is the solar generator cable for an EcoFlow. I believe this is from the Delta Pro, but they're pretty much the same thing for the Delta Max and stuff like that. And as you can see here, if you did everything properly, you're gonna have your red negative connection. This is loose. And at that point, you're gonna say, hey, this is female. What do we have left? We only have one male. So if you did everything properly, you're gonna be good to go. Click those together. You're gonna say with your negative connection, oh, we have a male. What do we have left over here? A female, excuse the camera work. We connect those two together. And then at that point, this would go straight into your solar generator and that's how you'd be charging from a distance. This is a series parallel setup. Again, you're not gonna really have any just strictly parallel setups, I don't believe, unless you have a real weird case. And another thing to be noted with parallel is that you do want to look into fusing you should be fusing on the positive before this connection with these things called inline fuses. I'll grab one real quick. Th these would be the easiest way to inline fuse concerning these are MC4 connectors with an inline fuse inside. These are 15 amps. I bought the wrong ones for these panels, but it is what it is. So 
we're gonna go over this in another video because this video is already long enough and pretty much this deserves a whole video in and of itself. So yes, this is connected. Is this the proper way to do everything? It depends on your setup. If you were to do, I believe the EcoFlow Delta, just regular Delta 1300 would need a setup like this to get the 400 watts of panels into it. The Delta Max, you wouldn't need to do that. You could just do them all in series. The Delta Pro, you could do them all in series. So that's that. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. Again, if you like this video, please be sure to like it. Let's get it out to the algorithm. Let's get the people grid independent and really being able to, you know, just have the freedom of their own electricity. Go wherever they want, do whatever they want with it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Again, everything's gonna be linked down in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.